youth in action where young people have dreams that are flourishing big time and remember your dream is valid in today's program we have Fibian Chepchirchir aka Miss Kibabi University and also a student of education let's hear more so Fibian karibu sana kwenye show tell us a bit about yourself thank you so my name is Fibian Chepchirchir Kiplagat uh from Eldoret mm -hmm. and I'm studying at Kibabi University a uh, third year student oh. pursuing bachelor of education arts maths and geography maths and geography yeah, that is maths interesting and geography. yeah uh -huh. yeah so being on the spotlight takes courage how did you get into modeling okay um i get into modeling uh when i stepped at Kibabi University so I remember uh, I was uh, I had friends who used to call me Miss Kibabi University and yet I was just a first year. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know even anything about modeling. So I was like why are they calling me Miss Kibabi University? Mm -hmm. Then they told me is uh, because of the way I used to wear my outfits. Mm -hmm. So for that reason I decided to be a model. I said let me try. Uh, and at, at that time, I, there's no one who can, who, who can train me. Then I decided to look for a, the former Miss Kibabi University. Her name is Ada. Mm -hmm. Then I told her to train me. I want to be a model. Wow. Then she said, okay. Then we trained. At first, I didn't know even how to walk on heels. I didn't know how to cut walk. She used to tell me that I'm dancing. <laughs> okay. Yes. She used to tell me that I'm dancing and I really have to improve, but I have that, that modeling something in, my, in me. Mm -hmm. Then I tried and tried and tried. After some time, this girl, I don't know where she went, and I was left alone. Mm -hmm. Then what I did is I kept on practicing and kept, I kept on training. I, kept, I just kept on training about modeling because I wanted. I used to go to YouTube. TikTok, just looking about modeling, mm -hmm. how they cut work, how they turn, how they pose, the smile and everything. Mm -hmm. Because I just wanted to be a model. Now that my friends are calling me Miss Kibabi University, I said, let me try and be. Wow. Let me try and be. Mm -hmm. Then I, I kept on doing that. Then, Ikafika time, uh, we had a cultural week mm -hmm. at Kibabi University last year on April. I was not even prepared. I didn't even want to contest. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But I said, let me try. In fact, I was training for a long time. I was able to get the training. Then I was And I was like, let me try. So I tried. Uh, apart from the uh, time I was able train, I was able to get home. I was able to get on YouTube. I do more research. Kesho na kam ni me at least ni me learn one more thing from mm -hmm. the yesterday one. So uh, during that time, um, I had a lot of challenges during cultural cultural week. Mm -hmm. mm, I didn't have money to hire um, a designer, and I wanted to contest. Uh, so I had a friend of mine called Masi Masi Charity. Mm -hmm. I can help Navitu that day. I can help Navitu mob. Uh, kama dina well inside here and uh, uh, creative wear katafuta um, uh, traditional wear can inside here and others mm -hmm. na zingine kazitafuta and uh, I said now I'm ready for the event mm -hmm. and do you know ili get ready uh, ilikuwa seven jioni ndo nilipata kila kitu wow. na event ni saa ngapi saa mbili and kasema let me try then I tried nikaingia kwa runway kenda ku pick nini tag numbers mm -hmm. during ku pick tag numbers imagine i pick tag number 1 wow picking tag number 1 and i'm not even ready i'm not even sure and i was like no nikarudisha hiyo tag number nika pick number 4 mhm mm 
kupik number four mwenye alikuwa mwisho kupik uh, mwenye alikuwa mwisho kupik tag numbers akasema no 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 amerudia mm. amerudisha ya number one. See, i'm not taking this number one. i'm not going to be number one. Okay. just take your your, your tag number mm-hmm. then mwenye alikuwa anapeana hizo tag numbers akaniambia just take yours then nikasema okay let me try i used to be moga sana but mm-hmm. that day i said let me try because i had a small courage I want to be a model. I want to be someone great. Let me try. Then I say to myself, "Mama, just try." Mm-hmm. Okay, it kind of runway and I was like, "Siezi anda kuwatch watu wengine wa kimodel. Let me just model and kuja ni chill." Uh-huh. Wengine they do their own things. Juni kienda kuona, they'll be like, "I'll be like, kai huyu amenishinda and huyu anafanya moko niliko." So I was like, "No, let me just do me. Let me do me." I don't want to see whatever they are doing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Let me just do me. Then it gonna nikitoka runway go naenda ku chill. Then ikifika the next uh, where Juni ilikuwa tag number one. So mimi ndo nilikuwa naanzisha everything. Okay. Before tuanze ungo zangu zilikuwa zimefungiwa hostel and amefunga <laughs> amekuja ku watch watu na nafaa niingie runway mimi ni wa kwanza. Wow. So ikabidi tu tu nini tu um, um, announce and that way vitu then. Ilikuwa ta nimeanza ku tense. Ah. Then to Kanza and time yako maliza I was like I'm ready for anything. I didn't know by that I didn't know to win. I didn't I didn't expect that to win. So I said uh let me wait just for anything. Anything for me I'm good. Mm-hmm. Uh then wakasema we are announcing now girls wa jipange wenye me contest upange line tukapanga line wakaita number 3 number 2 then number one, wa kuita they said let's yani wakachill wakasema let's wait kiasi we are not even in a position to announce our winner mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nimetens ju mwenye alikuwa nini wangu mwenye nilikuwa nashindana na yeye ajaitwa number one, number two, uh-huh. na three. Na three. Okay. so najua either nime niko 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 past number three, ama niko number one. Mm-hmm. kuita then after some time so wakasema let's announce wakani announce wakan announce tag number one, ndo the winner Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so, curious. I'm so happy. Okay. Oh, you are so happy. Yes. That's so nice. Congratulations for that actually. Yes. This is quite a catchy story an experience of yours. Ni nini umekuwa ukifikiria like before becoming a model until now has that experience been? Uh the experience has been has been so nice mm-hmm. in that even when I told my dad I'm contesting. He was so happy because my dad knows that I'm such kind of a person mwenye napenda hizi vitu za entertainment and kukuwa famous mm-hmm. tangu primary and stuff i was just famous wa nilikuwa naimbanga hizi vitu za kuimba huko primary mm-hmm. so he was famous so i told my dad i want to con- i want to be a mo- i want to ku contest miss kibabi mm-hmm. then my dad was so happy and akasema it's okay in fact nikamwomba some amount akanitumia and akasema all the best so After I win, I told him and he loved Ali Cheka. Like he was so so happy and I like making my father happy. Yeah. Wow. Being Miss Kibabi, you are a figure to look up to. Yeah. So what uh, how do you maneuver the expectations of being this perfect icon that I am looking up to? Okay, being Miss Kibabi University. Mm-hmm. Uh, first I, I really want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be Miss Kibabi University because I've been a person whom I wanted to be. I wanted to be a model mm-hmm. during uh, since my first year at Kibabi University I wanted to be a model mm-hmm. and this has really helped me to be the person I wanted to be. So I'm looking forward to mentor a lot of people to be models. I know there are, there are many people who want to be models but they don't have that opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I would like to encourage people that if you really want to be a model just do whatever you want to do try. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, modeling is often associated with beauty and fashion. Ni nguo tu na makeup hakuna kitu kingine. What else can you say drives the modeling agency? Okay, modeling is not all about uh, only clothes and makeups and stuffs. Uh, they they also look at how you express yourself mm-hmm. uh the person you are uh and also yeah i guess how you express yourself how you speak to to other people 
how you associate with people, how you interact and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because being being a model is like being a leader. Like for example, for me, being Miss Kibabi University is like being a leader. I'm also a leader in this school, so I should act like uh, I should act as a role model. Mm -hmm. Be a good person so that other people can do can follow what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, being on that uh, platform, do you feel like kuna uh, expectations? Expectations, flani una feel how jamiked? Ama you've changed some of your identity to maybe please other people because of being Miss Kibabi? Ama equal? No, I guess there are, there are, there are things that I've not yet done. Mm -hmm. I really want to bring many people into modeling. I want to bring many girls into modeling. Mm -hmm. Like for now, I'm training some of my girls. There are not too many, but I really want more of them. Mm -hmm. I really want people to do what they want to, to do and be what, what they want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, from what I've heard of you and uh, interacting with you, I understand you're a jack of many trades. Where were any artists, where were any poet, where were any dancer? How come you've mastered all these trades? Uh, for this, I think it's something that is inside me. Mm -hmm. It's something that I was born with it, I guess. Because since I was in primary, I used to love dancing mm -hmm. and singing. In fact, I was the best singer. I used to sing Kikale when I was in primary. Uh -huh. I used to solo. So, I guess it's something that I grown up. And uh, during also primary, I joined choir. I joined choir. I was the best dancer in that choir all over that all over my place. I was the best dancer, and again, I was the best singer. I was solo, so I was the best in dancing and singing. Well, I was young until now. For now, I can dance. I love dancing. Uh, for singing, no, but I do spoken word. Okay. Yeah. Spoken word, I started doing it uh, uh, during Kibabi University, or when I joined Kibabi University first year. I just felt like I can do this. I didn't know even how to, 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 to bring out that word of spoken. I didn't know even to speak that spoken word. Mm -hmm. But I, I took my time and write, and write some, some lines and try them, try them, try them. I used to go to YouTube and listen to Akina Karembo. And that's how I, I just wanted to do it. Wow. Yeah. Omen um, Fresha, there's a, something you said uh, about being shy. But being an artist, a spoken word artist, a poet, a dancer, those are things not a shy person can do. Um, how, how do you do it? Yeah, I was, I was so shy when I, when I grew up. Mm -hmm. And one day I said, God, I don't want to be shy anymore. I prayed. <laughs> I really prayed for that, for mm -hmm. real. And all of a sudden, I was like, Wow. You you said something about Kuimba, Kikale, Dinga yeah. Kalenjin. How did you have an experience with that as a model and also sp speaking your words and poets? Okay, for 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 singing, singing Kalenjin, mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know but my mother, my mother used to to tell me that I can do it. Mm -hmm. My mother and Dolini Fundisha how to sing in Kikale and stuff. I love entertainment. So uh, that's why I can dance, I can sing, I can model, and I can do the training at the same time. Mm -hmm. I can model for some time. I go dance. I go. I can do it. I just have that passion, and I love. I love doing them. Mm -hmm. I don't feel even burden of going for training and stuff. Okay. And uh, how do you get to balance your schoolwork as a student of education and all these activities? Okay, it's it's kind of it's it's kind of hard, but sometimes you just have to schedule yourself. You have to schedule yourself. Like for example, weekends, you can do all uh, like modeling and stuff on weekends because we don't have classes on weekends. Mm -hmm. And during also day day uh, week weekdays, you can do trainings after classes, and do classes during class times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how has that been? Has it been challenging? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been so challenging because sometimes you miss classes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes maybe you're called, uh, come come here, we have, we have to do this, we have to, to model, we have to do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. So you have to miss class and coping up with it in a core hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, being a spoken word artist, there are certain themes that you incorporate into your poems. 
what teams are those? Okay, uh, uh, I have uh, one that's for love, and another one is my feelings. Okay, I lost my mom, so I, I decided to write a poem about that. Mm -hmm. But it's all, it's, it, I, I lost my mom, but the poem is about losing uh, both parents. So okay. I just use it to express what I feel. Mm -hmm. And so how, how did that help you become the person you are right now? Uh, I've really been wanted to be uh, someone famous, someone people will know. Uh, I used to feel good when I go somewhere and people call me Miss Kibabi, Miss Kibabi, Miss Kibabi, and I don't know even know them. I, I feel good when my dad is happy because I am Miss University. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel good because my siblings, my, my sisters and brothers want to be the person I am. Mm. Yeah, like my sister wants to be a model. She's studying at Pony University. Pony University. So she, she told me that I want to be Miss Pony University mm -hmm. like you. I want to be Miss Pony. My younger sister who is in Form 1 now mm -hmm. wants to be a model. Wow. Now I, I love I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being su such an inspiration to your family members, what about the society around you? Do they have the same feelings as your family? Yeah. Also the society have the same feelings in that uh, when I used to move around there are girls and other people who told me that, may I come, you train me, I want to be a model. Mm -hmm. may, may you train me, I want to be like, they are begging, they are begging, I train them so that they can be the person I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, through your journey, you said you've lost your mom. Are there other significant challenges be, uh, through your journey that you feel like, I ngumo, but I maneuvered? Yeah, challenges are there. Like, for example, when you need a lot of money or when you need money to do something with modeling and or whatever, like even recording spoken word, mm -hmm. uh, the only person I'm depending on is my father. Uh, and, when my, and when my father doesn't have money, mm -hmm. you'll feel like I wish mom was there so that she can at least give me something small mm -hmm. to cope up with it. Mm -hmm. So it's been, it's not, it, it has not been easy. Mm -hmm. It's been so challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You speak often about motivating other people to join modeling and stuff like that. How, how does that make you feel, being an icon to look up to or being someone figure to look up to? Okay, what I can say about it is, modeling is not all about being beautiful, being, I don't know, people think that modeling, if you want to be a model, you must be so light-skinned, mm -hmm. you your skin must be so pure and stuff. No. You can be a model the way you are. You can be a model the way, like even you now, you can be a model the way you are. Modeling is all about courage, mm -hmm. trusting in yourself, having faith on you and doing you. You don't have to feel like, I'm not light-skinned, I'm not tall, I'm not skinny, no. Mm -hmm. Being a model is just be, being you. It's being you and being courageous enough. Wow. Yeah. So, and maybe there's someone out there, they have a different talent, uh, they, they don't want to be models, but they want to be something else. But I wanna, they're still reluctant, should I do it, should I not? What can you tell them? What I can tell them is, do it, do it right now. If not today, not even tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Do it right, if you want to do something, just go for it. You don't know the prize, mm -hmm. you don't know whatever God has planned for you. Just try it. <laughs> Even if you can't, okay, you, you, are, you can't afford something or just try, try with the little you have. Mm -hmm. Try with the small you have wow. and God will make you a great person. Ah, interesting. Yeah. I am curious to know, where do you see yourself five to ten years in time? Okay, five to ten years in time, I want to be, uh, I want to mentor a lot of people in modeling. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for example, I want to have my own agency, my own agency of modeling. I want to train a lot of people, both children, mm -hmm. uh, girls and boys. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's what I am really yearning to. I want to have my own agency and train a lot of people in modeling. But what about your academics? Uh, I'll, I'll also like to be a, a teacher. Ah. Yeah, I'll be a teacher and during that teaching time, I'll use that teaching time to, to bring that agency and Maybe during part times and during my holidays, I'll be training people from there. And when I'm fixed, 
I'll maybe look for someone to help me train the, the model. Wow, I, I love your spirit. You're so spontaneous. You're so motivational. Thank and you. Uh, when I grow up, I would love to be like you. <laughs> thank so, you. So, well, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me and talk about yourself. So nice, so commendable. And you'll be a supermodel. You thank know? you. You'll be a That's supermodel. what I'm yearning to. <laughs> thank you so much. This has been an interesting uh, experience for me, Miss Kibabi University. And uh, she has said it, do it right now. And I love how she has done it. Do it right now. There is no other time. Sikesho, Sikesho Kutua, do it right now. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Grenis. See you next time. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. This is the way.